Hello there and welcome to a new let's play of mine. I am the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric, and today we are playing on the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness, episode 1. Before I say anything additional to that, let us watch through the intro. Hothead Penny Arcade Adventures Four gods wait on the windowsill, where once eight gods did war and will. And if the gods themselves may die, what does that say for you and I? Alright, so why did I choose this game to, well, be let's played? First off, this is one of four games in the series. This game is based on a an online comic you can probably read right now, it's called Penny Arcade. And it's a comic filled with a bunch of immature humor, as is this game. You might have seen that little enemy right there in the glass, he looked kind of... Well, you'll see a lot of enemies like those. And, without further ado, I will get started right down to it. If I, re well, recall anything I want to say, I, I'm probably just gonna go right ahead and say it. Right now I don't really think there's much for me to say at this point. But first, let us create our character. Create a player. You're not named Carl. You are named Eric. Because that is my... Well, second name, but it's easier to pronounce than Florian. Body shape. I'm not gonna be a beefy dude. I'm pretty slim. Gender, that's alright. Head shape. Sure gonna be all right headwear hmm I don't know I guess this comes closest but not really oh well eyebrows I don't really care about this I you'll never see this character again yeah sure no glasses nose yep sounds looks fine yeah, he looks kind of pissed. And as for the coat... Okay. Gloves or no gloves? No, this looks like he has blue hands. Okay, this is gonna be a, the character we are gonna be playing as. What happens now? I have to click again. Did you soft lock game? No, you didn't. Good. The sun rises over your perfect life, in your perfect neighborhood, on this perfect morning, in the mostly perfect burg of New Arcadia. I say mostly perfect because from the edge of this city to its black heart, it pulses with evil. But 
we may be getting ahead of ourselves. I am here to guide you through this corrupted suburbia. While we surmount these challenges, do not dwell on my mysterious identity. It will only distract you from the task at hand. You're dwelling on it, aren't you? Not really. I urge you, do not. Not really. Your life and the lives of others may well depend upon it. Now then, I, um... <clears throat> forgive me. I'm afraid that I cannot concentrate with your lawn in such... in such... disarray. Please, pay me the small kindness. Take up yon rake and bring these grounds in line with civilization. I beg you. Alrighty, we'll pick up that rake and then I'll click on the leaves. Such a good day. I guess that was the wind. <gasps> Ow. than I imagined. I thought we had all afternoon, at least. <laughs> We're even going to go windsurf, weather permitting. There is no time to mourn, however. We must direct ourselves toward more useful endeavors. For example, that was a rather large robot. And it was being followed by two strange men. Let us chart the winding course of our destiny. Oh, I can run around while that guy is going on. Press the number key or click on the dialogue response you want to select. Okay, but I'm frightened. All right, disembodied voice, let's do this. I want to fear for my very life. Difficult. So we are gonna play this on regular. Come, Rake, let us begin our dark work. That's the spirit! Onward! Cry, Havoc, and let slip the dogs of... The dogs of... I know this. Cry, Havoc, and then you do something to... Some kind of dog. Curses. Well, we best be on our way. I'm sure it will come to me eventually. Probably not. So, you can run around in this world by clicking on here and you can look at various things. This hunk of steel is searing hot, spitting gouts of purple smoke. That's cool. This hunk of steel, ah, I get it. And you can look at all these things. This is a fire hydrant, might have helped douse your home, but it is only rigged to punk teriyaki. Alright. Um, and there are these unlocks, unlock concept art, collect all 12 pieces. But I don't, I'm not gonna do that because I don't know where all the art is and I'm not gonna click on every little thing. This bird appears to be singing a haiku, how would you know? You can look at this. Oh, empty, nothing. Alright, I'm gonna try to crash open those, those boxes. These creatures are a recent phenomenon in New York. Ah. Their carnal appetite for fresh fruit drives them to tiny acts of vulgarity. Tick. Zero, one, one, zero, one, 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 whatever. Hello? Tick, tick. Beware! Each action button can only be used when it's 
in initiative is full. So I can hit this guy after selecting attack button then... Ooh. Excellent block! I pushed the space bar on. Partial block, oh well. I think you have to push the space bar to block. That's a block. Tick! Blocking! Swat. You killed F F M zero one. Pretty straightforward. You do all of this with your mouse. But um, I told you that there are four games in this series, but the the developers changed from the third the third and the fourth um, games are from different developers, which is cool. You might not think that's cool, but it really, the style really changes, and I don't think it's for the worst. So we earned experience. I did not overkill a th single enemy there, although I don't know how to do, how I would do that yet. Spare parts, weapon upgrading, ideal for upgrading weapons. To quick save, press Control S. Okay. I'll try to remember that, but I probably won't. You can get this car in black, jet, whatever. Is there any stuff to collect for? Ah, yes. Dr. Harrod's liquid armor. Defense plus 100%. That's pretty neat. I, I told you I was not going to click on every single Behold, bit, but... A cat. It appears to be beckoning you thither. Cat. Simply click on this cat to communicate with it. Click on it. The cat appraises you and finds you wanting. <clears throat> Greet the cat. Meow convincingly. Pet the cat. Meow. The cat looks at you quizzically. Purr and meow simultaneously. No, I'm gonna purr gently. You purr gently. The cat approaches you, rubbing its face on your calf. Kneeling to look at the worn collar, you can clearly make out the name T. Kemper. T. Kemper, support character. This cat is lazy, even by cat standards. And it truly is, but it's gonna help me fight. But not very well. I might add that. You can also destroy every single trash can. Bandage. Pretty straightforward, this one. Another empty can. Alright. Ah, I can also click it, hold it dragged. Hold. Those strange men They're not strange, they're Tycho and Gabe. Make their acquaintance soon. Observe these bottles. Once they held wholesome milk, known to promote bone health. Now they keep a sinister secret. Do they? Let us discover this secret now. Murder. I must say that I expected more from our feline companion. I didn't. I knew what he was gonna do. Loop. Counter attack? You can do that! Cool. Didn't know that. Well, I probably did know at some point, but... I don't know when the timing is best. Partial block. That one is difficult to block. The quote-unquote juice burst. But I did tell you that the humor of this game is quite immature. More experience. And stuff. Nope. Nothing more in those bottles. Why are you frame dropping me? I don't like that. That is one flat mailbox, wow. This mailbox holds a tiny music venue when a con concert is currently in session. You apologize and close the door. All right. Well, for once we have, oh, 
Now we have frame drops. Yep, we have quite a few frame drops, but we can also continue on with the scene. Well, I wanted to end the episode here anyways, right? Because, and now that there are a lot of frame drops, I'm gonna have no real choice in the matter. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Penny Arcade. I'm gonna quick save right now. And, uh, uh, of my Penny Arcade series. And I'm gonna uh, see you in the next one as well. Until then, bye-bye.